forgiveness is important for an effective prayer. Here's what Jesus thought about the pattern of prayer. In Matthew chapter 6 and verse 12, um, we read, he said, and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. It's interesting that God calls us to pray from a place of forgiveness. Forgive our debts, O God. That's a prayer. As we forgive those who are our debtors. So God wants us to um, come to him with a heart that is free uh, of strife, which is uh, free of anger, free of bitterness towards others. You know, uh, everyday life, there could be things uh, that, that have happened and, you know, we are carrying it uh, and, and we, we are keeping it within our hearts. And when we come before the Lord uh, with those things still in our hearts, uh, what we understand is that it hinders prayer. It hinders God from hearing our prayer. So we are called to release those things. We are called to release people who may have hurt us, who may have offended us uh, in some way. And why uh, should we really do that? Because what we are doing in forgiving others is we are conforming ourselves to the very image of God. You know, God uh, is a gracious God. God uh, is someone who has forgiven us. Uh, here's what Psalm 85 and verse 2 uh, tell us. Uh, it, it says, You have forgiven the iniquity of your people. You have covered all their sin. Uh, Selah. Something to think about. God uh, is, is perfect and God is holy. Uh, but when he looks at people who are sinners, you know, God does not choose to, to uh, you know, let them be guilty forever. Uh, through his son Jesus, God has chosen to forgive us. And, and when we approach God, the way God is looking at us is, is God is looking at a redeemed people. God is looking at a forgiven people. And he wants us to do the same. He wants us to forgive others. In Matthew chapter 6 and verse 15, uh, after Jesus had, had spoken uh, about the pattern of the Lord's prayer, you know, he continues. Uh, he, he still holds to the, to the same emphasis and he says, but if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. So we notice that God places an expectation on us. Uh, when we approach him, he wants us to come uh, with a heart that has already released people, that we are not holding on to bitterness, uh, but, but we have forgiven those who have uh, in, in some way, you know, caused uh, oppression, caused uh, hurt in our lives. Uh, and so uh, may we always bear that in our hearts as we come to the Lord. Uh, may we check our hearts and say, God, if, if there's anything that I'm holding uh, against someone, God, I choose to let it go. Uh, I choose to make it right. Uh, Lord, if it means speaking to that person and, and sorting out the matter, then God, I will do that uh, because only then, oh God, I know uh, that I'm in a place where I have forgiven others the way you have forgiven me much. Uh, and therefore, uh, you know, forgiveness is something that indeed makes our prayers effective. Shall we just join our hearts and pray right now? Heavenly Father, we thank you once again, O oh God, for the privilege of prayer. And God, we know that it is your will uh, to hear our prayer. And that's why you tell us to come boldly. God, we pray this day that those of us who are struggling, O oh God, to let go of matters, Lord, to forgive others who may have hurt us. Lord, that you will give us the grace. Lord, we choose, oh God, to, to overlook those matters, Father God. We choose to make it right, Lord. God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for that strength that you are granting by your Holy Spirit uh, right now, God, to many of us. Thank you uh, that our prayers are being heard, Father, and, and there are answers, God, even, even for matters that, that have had delays. And we just worship you for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.